what's going on guys it's shibp baby welcome back to another video i hope everybody's doing well i hope you're smashing that subscribe button and let's get straight into it so we're going to start on dixie as per usual and you'll see that we've had a quite a large expansion today just as i outlined in yesterday's video so if you haven't watched yesterday's video make sure to go check that out but you can see we've just run out um this week's high and we're starting to trade into this bearish order block now because because we're bullish on dollar we anticipate that these order blocks bearish order blocks are um are going to get traded through like i'm looking to see this bearish weekly order block get disrespected and i'm expecting a run up into the buy side liquidity residing up here which is very bullish but overall that's where i want to see price reach for now the fact that we traded into this order block um what i'm going to also mark out is the open off this order block because i anticipate this to now provide support for us to then work our way through the order block to run up into the relative equal highs and this fair value gap that we have residing up here so let's drop down to the daily and we're going to, we're about to see how crazy tuesday's price action it was so first of all you can see that we actually gapped higher which is lovely to see and then we've just been bullish right the way through and i am expecting a continuation in the new day now the lowest i want to see price trade like i said i just worked i just marked out the opening of this bearish order block i'd like to think that that will now provide support since we're inside of it now it's hard to explain why this is but um to help support this as well i'm going to show you this fair value gap i'm going to extend it to the right and you'll see how that 50 percent level as well is also lined up with that order block opening so this 50 percent level of this fair value gap is this red line this should also provide support why because we've closed above that level this is an imbalance we've traded through it on the upside we've, we've traded through um, the midpoint consequent encroachment so now that midpoint should be providing support so the lowest i want to see dollar trade for me to continue to be bullish is going to be this 50 percent level which is pretty much already delineated with this level here I'm going to make it dashed just so that we know and then let's drop down to the four hour and see what we can find so you can see a lot of wicks again we're pushing pushing and you can see up here we have these beautiful relative equal highs that price is going to want to draw into now it is quite an expansive expectation on dollar but um it's not done as in i don't think it's done i don't think it's topped at all and I, don't, I won't think it's topped for a while before we see a significant retracement. So um, I am, just, like I said, I am just going to keep an eye on these order blocks, and I'd like to think that we can see continued support at this level. Look how we consolidate around that. I'd like to think that we can find continued support for us to then push higher. Um, but yeah, overall, you can see we still have this massive imbalance to fill. So even if we don't reach up here, say t the Wednesday or Thursday, we still have this level which will fill this range in for us to trade up to. So I'm going to just mark that out with a thin black line and at least now we have targets for dollar to want to reach for before thinking about the relative equal highs so really not much more to talk about on that in that sense um oh everyone's had a good trading or having a good trading week but yeah just stay safe and let's go on to gbp usd now just as i outlined again in yesterday's video i said i want to see expansion lower on gbp that's exactly what we're starting to get now these relative equal high, equal lows haven't actually been traded to yet so definitely expecting that to get traded to tomorrow or today wednesday um so i want to see that get traded through um and then again we have a bullish order block here but we're coming up to that 50 percent level which you can see lines up perfectly with these lows so once we trade through that i'd like to think that we can find resistance at that level and then we use that to springboard lower and potentially run down into these relative equal lows that we have down here just similar to what we saw on dollar now i'm not saying that price is going to reach these levels um i'm not saying that price is going to reach these levels this week necessarily but i am anticipating them to eventually get traded down into so let's go to the daily really quick and you can see this massive expansion lower now we do have a classic ict pattern here we've got a high low higher high and then we break lower so our, our eyes should be coming to this level right here we want to see how the price treats this level now i'm not expecting price to necessarily trade all the way up into this like it doesn't need to do that but i am anticipating a trade back into this range as a whole so what we can do for this day is look from the high to the low and i'm going to mark out the midpoint of this day and the reason for that is because this would be the highest i'd want to see price trade for me to remain bearish and also for me to look for any setups so on wednesday i'm looking for a nice rally above trading into this range respecting this 50 percent level maybe even just the 25 percent level so that we can then push lower 
and start working our way through this order block so that we can step lower into these relative equal lows. Now, let's go to the four hour, see what we can find. Beautiful delivery to the downside, just as anticipated. You'll see again, um, ooh, where's that? I need this level to be seen and this level to be seen. So you'll see these levels and what you'll find is on the four hour, we actually have a nice fair value gap here. Now why, now the reason I wanna bring this out, point this out to us is because I don't anticipate price to trade back into this. Why? Because this level was rebalanced already on this four hour candle. So let's take a closer look. So you see, we created the fair value gap here and then around London, New York, so we traded right up, closing in that fair value gap. This fair value gap has been closed. We also rebalanced with this level you can see there's a rebalance in there and then we traded lower. So price no longer needs to come all the way up here. So now we can start to um, really hone in on where we're expecting the high of the day to get made. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our attention to this long wick that we have. And I'm going to look at the 50% level of that. Now this is going to be the highest I want to see price trade to in the new day. So let's make this red. So although we have this level, yes, price can get up there but ideally it will only trade up to that maximum before heading lower on the day. So let's drop down to the one hour and you can see there's a nice bearish order block there. We have a rejection block here and we have this swing high up here that price may want to just grab. So if we go to the 15 minute, you can see how we're kind of just consolidating right now. We're putting in these relative equal highs along here. And um, again, there's the breaker block high, low, higher, higher than we broke lower. Yes, we got the wick, but I'm more so looking at the volume of the block, which lines up with that level I was talking about. So let's see on the five minute if we can find any kind of PD arrays. Nice bearish order block right here. Um, that price may want to trade into. Let's go on the three minutes or anything. Again, there's a consolidation at this point. So generally speaking, let's just drop to one minute and have a look. Yeah, this consolidation. So con generally speaking, I want to see price return back to this consolidation right here we do have this level just above the consolidation as well which may want to get tapped but overall um, in terms of looking for sales I'd like to think that price can retrace back up into this level maybe in London and then create the higher of the day for us to then push lower for the rest because we have all these relative equal lows below here and obviously below show you or below here so there's a lot of relative equal lows that are definitely pro most likely going to get taken sorry another thing to take note of in this range as well is from this high to this low if we go into a trading range and look at the optimal trade entry you'll see that this lines up look at that this 0 0705 level lines up perfectly with that 50 percent level of that four hour wick i brought our attention to so that's another reason i'd like to think that price in the new day or want to retrace back higher before pushing lower but um the only so the only way again another thing to take note of is this high so you can see that we had a breaking market structure here shift in market structure even this is where the change in the state of delivery happened let's make this let's make it purple so this is where this change in state of delivery happened if price disrespects this so let's well this order block if price disrespects this, so if we trade through it, I no longer expect price to want to reach up here and we'll start looking for shorts at a lower point. But if so long as this level, I'll show you these, I'll show you the exact range I'm looking. So long as this order block gets respected, so long as we stay within this range, more specifically the 50% level. And you guys can go in your charts and mark this out exactly the same way, just so that you can have an idea of what I'm talking about and you'll see how price treats these levels but so long as price respects this order block this bullish order block i want to see it trade up here if it doesn't i'm expecting it to trade lower simple as that so again we might we might come into the new day we might be consolidating here then i expect some kind of manipulation maybe at 3 a.m hit that high and then i'd like to think that we can get a downward trajectory for the rest of the um rest of the day but yeah that's pretty simple on gbp euro i haven't changed euro for the entire week so i'm going to go for the same things again again weekly bearish order block that I anticipate price trade away from beautiful delivery you can see that we're starting to see now running down into this bullish order block let's go down to daily see what we're trading into we have this massive fair value gap that i'm anticipating to get filled 
Again, high, low, high, high. So our eyes should go to this level. Again, I don't accept price trade all the way up to that level. What I can bring our attention to is this long wick. 50% level lines up with that as well. So this is a significant level. As in price may want to return to it for us to look for sales. Let's go on to the 4 hour and have a look. We have a fair value gap lined up there as well. So again, I'd like to think high of the day can get made up in this range for us to then push lower. And again, if we go on to the one hour and we look at the current trading range that we're in from this high, this is the last significant swing high to this low, you'll see optimal trade entry lines up with this level as well. So there's a lot of confluence saying that price is going to want to turn around at this point for us to then push lower and run and fill that da daily fair value gap that I've had my eyes on. In terms of Dixie, we can do a similar analysis if we go to the four hour. Um, the lowest I'd re although I marked this point out earlier, the lowest I'd really expect us to trade again. We have this wick on the four hour. We've tracked that out. This wick should provide support. So let's say we do trade lower on dollar. We can look at the fifty percent level of this. That's the lowest I'd want to see price trade on dollar. In all fairness, but um, I'd like to think that it finds support out here. But you may want to dip down lower. That's honestly everything, guys. Thank you for watching. Honestly. Go watch yesterday's video. I explained that I wanted the large expansion. We've signed to see large expansion, so now we can start looking for setups for the week. So I'm looking for sales above midnight candle on GBP and, and Euro. And then I'm expecting a one down into the south side of liquidity on GBP and this massive liquidity void to get filled. Now I think you GBP is probably better, probably because it's got all this to fill. Then again, Euro's also got a daily fair value gap to fill. So it's not like there's not a lot that we could be trading but um yeah hope you guys found this insightful and i'll catch you in the next one peace also hit subscribe we're trying to hit 800 subs here